You are watching an Infiltrator Systems Installer IQ video on how to install a watertight riser on an infiltrator tank. Before you begin, risers must be installed according to state and or local regulations. If you are unsure of the requirements for a particular site, contact your local health department or permitting authority. Some regulatory jurisdictions require a special permit to attach a riser to a tank, so be sure to check that too. Review the riser connection guidance document that came with your tank. You can also get a copy from your local tank distributor or find it online at www.infiltratorsystems.com. Remember that the riser installation must be completed before backfilling the tank. Finally, make sure that you can install the riser under dry conditions. Tools and Supplies Make sure you have everything on hand before you begin. You will need a variable speed drill, 12 inch Phillips driver, sealant gun, utility knife, and a brush or rag. The sealant should be ISI or Conseal 1500 adhesive sealant. Do not use alternative sealants or caulks because they will not bond to plastic. The sealant acts as a gasket or diaphragm to form a watertight seal and does not serve as an adhesive. The sealant must be kept at a temperature that maintains its workability, which is at least 60 degrees Fahrenheit or for our Canadian friends, 16 degrees Celsius. Also, you must use the number 14 by one and a quarter inch stainless steel screws provided with the riser, or gaps may be created when screwing the riser onto the tank. Preparing the tank. Remove the lid shipped with the tank. Screws and spacers can be discarded. Brush or wipe debris from the riser connection point on the tank. Keep the sealant free from dirt and debris or anything else that may compromise a watertight seal. Place the riser over the access port on the tank and rotate it into proper alignment. You'll know it's properly aligned when the two slots on the bottom of the riser engage into the indexing tabs on the tank body. When properly indexed, the 10 pilot holes on the riser will align with the 10 receiving holes on the tank body. Mark the tank and riser so you'll know where to place the riser later. Proper Riser Connection Remove the riser. Apply the sealant in the channel located around the tank access port. Apply a bead of sealant that is thick enough to fill the gap between the riser and the tank body. Apply one continuous bead of sealant around the entire circumference of the access port. Repeat this step so you have two beads of sealant before placing the riser. Avoid gaps that may cause leaks. You should use an entire tube of sealant for each riser to tank connection. Invert the riser and position it over the access port using your mark from earlier and the index tab. Don't rotate the riser as this may create gaps in the sealant and cause leaks. Screw the riser into position, making sure to only screw at the 10 pilot hole locations. Make your way around the tank in a star pattern like this. Tighten the screws at least twice to compress the sealant to the tank evenly. Be very careful not to over tighten the screws as this can strip the screw holes, damaging the riser on the tank and jeopardizing the seal. Look inside the riser where it connects to the tank. You should see that the sealant has oozed out of the connection. To make the process easier, a 6 inch or 12 inch screwdriver bit can be used. Also remember that you should install all 10 number 14 inch and a quarter stainless steel screws before backfilling. Be sure to spread the excessive adhesive along the interior joint within the tank and riser to ensure the entire joint has been covered. Final Steps Do not backfill around the riser using heavy equipment. Backfill up against the riser by hand to prevent damage to the riser to tank connection that may cause a leak. Put the lid on the riser and secure it using the 9 hex head screws and 1 square drive safety screw that came with the riser system. Thank you for your interest in Infiltrator Systems product line. Contact our technical services department with any questions at 1-800-221-4436.